Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a professional tarot, astrologer, and intuitive. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about the week ahead. Hashtag Mercury and Gatorade. Why am I saying that? Well, because it's a vibe. It's a mood. And number two, this is actually the start of Mercury and Retrograde, which I'm not going to lie to you. This time around looks to be a little bit of a doozy. Now, if you are no stranger to the channel, you are also no stranger to the fact that I cannot tell a lie. I will always tell you the truth. Everything that is that I'm seeing within the astrology chart, everything that is that I'm seeing within my intuitive eye, everything that is that I'm seeing within the tarot cards, you're never gonna find me trying to sugarcoat things or blow smoke up your ass. So I wanna keep it real with you, I wanna keep it 100. This week and also this Mercury retrograde phase, this Mercury retrograde time looks to be a little bit of a doozy. Before we dive into what I'm seeing as far as what's happening in the cards, um, intuitive messages and visions and anything else like that, I really want to break down the week ahead, astrologically speaking, why this week looks to be a little bit tough, and also why I'm predicting this Mercury retrograde to be a little bit of a headache. However, I say this over and over again on the YouTube channel, on Bahati Life, Bahati Life YouTube channel, um, I'm like tongue twisted right now, probably because Mercury ret retrograde starts today, but if you know how to work with the planets, you can make them work for you and not against you. And this is one of those things that I can see and I can tell that there are a few guilty individuals here in the world, in the tribe, where we, you, they, him, her, whomever, is trying too hard to keep all of the pieces of your life together and try to keep it whole when it isn't whole to begin with. It's actually been kind of broken and fractured from, for quite some time. How am I saying this? Why am I saying this? Where am I seeing this at? Well, I'm looking at the chart right now. Okay, so Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter are all currently direct, but that's after they were retrograde for months months you guys in the sign of capricorn totally demolishing destroying the things that we have been working so hard to build aka to maintain okay why do i say that because you keep trying to maintain or you were guilty it's all of us uh, this uh old status quo and when the planets the universe sees that it's not in divine order it's not working out it will come in with a sledgehammer and shake it up real quick real fast and that's what the last few months have been looking like in fact all of this year this goes way longer and deeper than just this year this has been years you know in the making but during this year 2020 because of this um you know the squares and everything kind of uh conjugating in the sign of Capricorn, it highlights it and puts all of that energy, all of the focus in that one area. And we're seeing this again in the news and politics and businesses in universities, establishment, hospitals, etc., and your personal life. So how does this connect to Mercury retrograde? Well, my loves, when Mercury uh, goes retrograde, it brings at this time, it's taking legit all of what we have been holding on to for definitely the last few months all these pieces these things that we're like these big fractured chunks of our lives that some of you guys are guilty of trying to hold together so much you're like grasping onto it so hard and the universe is actively working to crumble it so the harder that you grip on it to it the smaller your hands go to the point where your hands are gripping and your knuckles are white because you've been holding on to something that's been actively being uh uh, you know broken down by the by the universe it's like holding on to a boulder holding on to a rock and then over time that rock that boulder just keeps starting you know crumbles between your hands into sand and it just slips through your fingers instead of being triggered by this instead of being upset by this we have to go back to the fact that you know in spiritual studies and how energy works is that everything is always connected and everything happens for our highest and great, greatest good whether you choose to believe it or not if you're struggling with it, the only thing that you're actually really struggling with is your perspective on exactly what is that's happening. The reality is, is that when things are chaotic, it's really the universe um, 
doing its best work to make sure that you know things all fall into alignment that's how our universe works it, it works in these cycle these um cycles so when it, things seem messy it's actually de divine chaos making sure that you're in the good in good hands that you're at the right place at the right time okay so as mercury goes retrograde you guys um it's going to bring back these deeper issues from the past these deeper wounds these deeper trigger points what you want to do uh, instead of getting triggered by it and upset by it is to simply surrender to the situation. Why is this? Well, because Mercury ruling communication, ruling our thoughts, ruling um, these contractual agreements that we would love to initiate, these conversations that we would love to have, um, you know, it's sitting in the sign of Scorpio currently. Scorpio rules naturally rules the eighth house scorpio is also connected to the reproductive organs and also our ability to like our bowels our ability ability to release things if you think about you know orgasms and if you think about uh excreting things excreting energy we have to be able to surrender to the fact that it's got to flow out it's got to relax it's got to be released in order for things to be natural in order things to flow I know that that sounds crazy or kind of gross or rated R extreme TVMA, but I mean, it's energy that it is that we're working with. And as an astrologer, I'm going to pull the chart and I'm going to tell you the truth. So this is the energy that we're, we're vibing with right now. As I'm looking at the chart, I have to take a step back and I have to see the fact that the sun is moving through the sign of Libra right now, trying so hard to bring everything into a uh, balance and harmony, but the universe and the divine is asking you clear as day what is it that you are trying so hard to uh, create a union with a bond with if the energies of these two things are not working if the energy of these two things are not in alignment they simply have to pass this is not a bad thing this is good the same thing that is ruling our ability to release and to let go of these built up toxic not toxic things but over time it could be toxic but what we're our ability to release what no longer serves us we have to allow it to go what are we going to hold on to our shit for in our bodies for the rest of our lives that sounds awful and the same thing happens if you, if you guys need a good metaphor the same thing happens with the orgasm it's our ability to relax and to release and allow our body to do what it is that it's going to do that takes us to the next levels of bliss. But at first, we have to experience a level of vulnerability that a lot of people and intimacy that a lot of people are uncomfortable with. This is not only just physical, it is emotional, it is mental, it is spiritual, it's energetic. So I'm as I'm looking at the chart, you guys, I'm seeing this power struggle that's been built up since last week and the week before that. One of the things that's standing out to me is the sun, again, trying so hard to harmonize with Libra and the universe is really saying to you, almost has you like choking you out. Like, I don't know what's going on with my metaphors right now, you guys, <laughs> so sorry. But literally the universe has you kind of choked up right now and, and it's really forcing you to see, okay, you are really, you've really been trying to move both of these things together. You've really been trying to work with these different things. And what if I told you that it wasn't meant to be? What if I told you that those two things are, are not meant to, you know, um, you know, align together? They're just so different. That's not to say that opposites don't attract. That's not to say that two different things can't work together because we see it all the time, especially in, in, you know, the the tarot with the chariot cards with the high priestess and for those of you guys that are interested in studying tarot even deeper you can check out my sacred circle tarot school enrollment is open now we dive so deep into esoteric symbolism astrology numerology and tarot meaning but that's neither here nor there it's not to say that these polar opposites can't work it's the fact that some things simply no matter how hard you try they're just not meant to go and the more that you try to force it the more it will evade you the more that it will elude you the more that it is disgusted and repelled by you that's the truth so um some of you guys are really having to to really face the facts here and face the sound of the music you know like really look into the mirror and ask yourself why am i trying so hard why am I trying so hard? What is it that I actually need to release, surrender, let go, so that I can allow the universe, me, this thing, the situation, be who it is, be what it is going to be, so that all these things can come together in the way that they should be, okay? In the way that's, again, for our highest and greatest good. So, I have three piles here for you guys. I'm going to give you some time to focus on your intuition, to sit with it as long as you need to. I'm going to dive into these messages a little deeper for you on a more personal level. 
and all the time steps for everything for the cards and any information that you need in order to connect with me will be down in the description box below and that that being said let's go ahead and get started all right so for those of you guys that chose the opalite egg this is your message this is your reading something about this egg reminds me of condensation and when i felt that when i saw that i realized that the three different piles that I chose, the crystals that represent them are very water elementy, which makes sense because at the time of me filming this, Mercury is retrograde, newly retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. So it would make sense that we would be diving into the realms of the emotions and the watery fields. However, when it comes to you and water, I get the vibe of condensation. Now, I haven't seen or heard the word condensation in a minute. I think the last time that I even looked at the idea and the study of condensation was probably in late middle school or high school when I was in a meteorology class and we were studying the clouds. And if you don't know, condensation is uh, water that has evaporated that is just in you know the, the in the air and builds up because there's this conflicting coldness and the humidity I'm gonna look it up for you in just a second that makes it uh, come together that makes it bond together and create you know, switch forms, so to speak. Why am I telling you guys this? Well, because that's how my messages work. So let me go ahead and pull up what condensation means for you. Okay, so number one, it's water which collects as droplets on a cold surface when humid air is in contact with it. The conversion of a vapor or gas to a liquid. So this shows me right away that this is my group that has undergone incredible massive change that may or may not have been very uncomfortable. The one thing that stands out to me as I'm looking at the opalite egg and I'm thinking about the idea of condensation is the extremes. I'm seeing, we just heard, very humid and very cold. So very hot and very cool. These are, very, these are things that are opposite. That when they're opposite, when they're different, when they're extreme, they find each other, they bond, and they switch things up. And that's what is I, I feel and what I see for you. As I'm saying that, we have the Eight of Cups at the very base of your reading. And this connects me back to this idea of transformation, change, transition. I feel as though the universe or your path up until this point has set you up so that or has looked like, you know, you have had to separate from certain things, from certain people, and I'm also feeling this idea of failure. I feel as though you guys are stepping out of a position where you're looking at some of your things that didn't work out, some of your failed attempts or failed tries, and I'm getting this vibe that the universe doesn't want you to look at it as a failure. It wants you to look at, you know, you're just a human being, a spiritual being, learning, learning how to work with these polar opposites to create something new, some new form. So that's what it is that I'm seeing for you guys already. Look, Ace of Presence was the separated thing. So this new form is, should be something that is more solid, more stable, and has a chance, a better chance at lasting, at longevity, and serving you. I'm also seeing that if you guys have had something in the works already, it just cements and bonds itself even further. But if it wasn't for these polar opposites, these extremes, these highs, these lows, these moments where these peaks of energy and these peaks of exhaustion, that helped you to work things into balance in order to create this new form. Again, condensation. We also have the judgment card. So these are all of these experiences, these, these moments, these individual moments that come together, that collect in order to be this groundbreaking awakening, this groundbreaking moment, this shift in energy. As I'm doing this, I'm seeing the fact that there's a small pile in the one hand and a, a larger pile in the right. You guys are learning how to, or you were learning how to merge and work with both, both of your forms. So your masculine form and your feminine form. You were learning how to work with both of them in order to create success. If it wasn't for you failing, in that in that process you would never have learned it you would never mastered it we can't look at a child 
you know, trying to study math for the first time and be like, well, why don't you understand algebra? Well, because I never learned it. I didn't know. I was just using that metaphor with my friend, one of my best friends, just the other day, and it resonates right now, where you guys, some of you guys expect yourselves to master something, um, you know, when, when the reality is that you need time to adjust, you need time to cool, you need time to heat up, you need time to live, to learn, to experience, to adjust. So give yourself some grace, give yourself some compassion in that. Some of you guys were in a active phase and you're starting to dip down. You feel like your energy is starting to die down and you're concerned with this idea of failure. Am I going to fail? What does, you know, what does me being productive and successful look like for me? What does a relationship look like? What does it need to be like? And it's just, you know, you're learning how to work with both of those realms that it's not just all one way all one vibe all the time so everyone it, these messages are very general i'm turning the volume down just a little bit these messages are very general but that's what's coming through for right now um i'm very excited to see what you what oracle cards you guys have pulled but that's right now what we have so first the another thing that i'm looking at right now and i feel for you guys is order I feel like you guys, it, you know, when I hear the word order and I feel the word order, I don't get good vibes from it. I don't get good energy. I feel like you guys have this sequence of events or series of events of how you expect certain things to be. And when they don't amount to that or if they don't shape shift into that, you start getting upset. You start getting triggered. You start getting irritated. It You allow those things to disrupt your peace and to up, uproot you. And this is a reminder this week, especially as Mercury is turning retrograde, to not allow that to be. In fact, as I'm thinking about it, Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. And for you guys, what I'm seeing is this idea of looking at the demon. And I hate to use that word, but it's really like looking at the thing that is plaguing you. Look at the enemy. Why is it triggering you so bad? Why are you so... Um, intimidated by it. Honestly, that's actually what it is. Some of you guys don't have the ego. You know, you're operating from the ego, so you don't even allow yourself to see the fact that you are being so triggered by this enemy. You're so intimidated. You Instead of you looking at it and being like, well, I don't like it. I hate it. Well, why does it, why is it pulling such an intense, immense reaction from you? If you were above it and if you are as, if you believed in your own power, you wouldn't be so caught off guard, not caught off guard, but you wouldn't be, you wouldn't exchange your power over to it or focus on it or comp, uh, compare yourself to it or be even upset. It wouldn't even be in your energy field and yet you've allowed it to be. So, that's something that as I'm seeing here, look, two of potions and the wheel of fortune reversed. So as I was saying before, I'm definitely getting this vibe this week of what are you aligning with? What are you trying to, um, you know, connect with? What are you trying to build with? What do you, I just, spirit is really being like, you know, everything on our time, not your time. It's a very humbling energy that I'm, that you guys are pulling right now is that, there are some things, and look, look at the extremes of the Two of Cups. We have one small here and one tremendously large. It's like, you know, why, I don't know why I'm getting comparison here as well. I just feel like there's this space of comparison and exchanging your power by, by what you're focusing on. And you guys are almost trying to adjust yourselves to fit into this thing. Meanwhile, you're saying to the world, like, I'm powerful, I'm this, I'm capable, I'm all of these things. And it's like, well, why are you trying to, why are you spending so much time talking about it? Like, who are you trying to convince right now? It just doesn't make sense. The Wheel of Fortune reversed is legit reversed. Spirit is saying, don't look at, you know, what is happening you know, around you and compare yourself to it. Don't look at your timing because uh, honestly, that's what I'm seeing for you guys is it feels like you're looking at um, your failure, your misfortune, and you're saying this is a bad thing. And on, it twists right around into you and says that, you know, this doesn't define you. And if you actually believed in your power, you wouldn't be so... Um, so you wouldn't be feeling having these feelings of insecurity. So we want to examine that. Again, there's this space of the enemy, 
you know, that this thing that you guys are like, okay, well, that's my enemy that's working against you. Nothing is working against you. Everything is working for you. If you believed it, you wouldn't be exchanging your power over to it, if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and flip these cards over. Look, you have the judgment card here again reversed and also the star card reversed. So judgment and the star card reversed. Then we also have justice reversed, ace of presence reversed, king of candles. So that's king of wands. All of these cards are currently reversed. And trust me, I shuffled this deck really, really well. And then also we have the page of potions reversed and the empress card reversed. And then two cards supporting it are the page of candles. So the page of wands and the five, six, seven of wands. So right away, my loves. <laughs> This is a reminder this week that we want to pull everything into your power. You have to hear and be reminded that everything is working in your favor. We do not want to compare. We do not want to limit ourselves. We do not want to limit our potential. We do not want to overextend ourselves. We want to step back to our, into our state of being and be reminded that everything is working in our favor. If we are skeptical of this, we need to take a, even more time to spend with the divine, to spend with ourselves, to realize that we don't need to present anything other than what we already have in order to receive everything that is that we've always wanted. You are whole, you are complete as is. And when you start seeing this fact that, you know, this trigger, these insecurities kind of reemerging, instead of you getting, um, you know, speaking, I, I don't know why, but I'm here, I'm getting a lot of like, a lot of talk, no action. It's like the things that is that you're saying, you're trying to convince yourself. It's not even like affirmations. Affirmations are when you say certain things in order to empower yourself, to, to be the embodiment of it. It's almost very gossipy, but you're gossiping about yourself or you're talking about other people or you're saying to other people, to your friends, like, oh, well, I did this and I did this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not, and you're just, all of it is a, a lot of talk. Take that time that you should be talking and then have a, a moment with yourself um, where you sit in the mirror and you say, listen, let me actually confront this, especially with the two of cups. Some of you guys look at the two of cups and you're like, Jess, this is about partnership and relationships. Absolutely. Absolutely. I talk about that a lot in the Sacred Circle Tarot School about, you know, the meaning of the cards, but it goes deeper than just the surface level meaning especially if you're learning tarot with me, it goes so much deeper than that. And with this, I'm seeing you guys have these um, emotional comparisons, these emotional um, extremes, these polar opposites that you are learning now how to work with. The universe will not allow you to move forward. It will not allow you to collect $200 as you pass go if you do not put everything on pause, sit and readjust. Don't you, you're spending a lot of time trying to readjust what others are doing or what's going on in the world or how you want things to be in order for things to be okay. When spirit says the only thing that you need to adjust right now is your perspective. When you shift your perspective, you will shift your sales and you will go much, much farther. You'll go the distance. That's when these cards will start to turn upright. King of Wands is very active. This, that literally makes so much sense because I was talking about this ego. It doesn't matter if you're male, female or however it is that you identify you're a beautiful being of god like a beautiful being created by the divine created by god and i'm just getting this this vibe of you know things you feeling like things aren't working out in your favor um or things didn't work out in your favor so you feel like it's abandoned you feel like it's a loss so instead of you acknowledging that and accepting the fact that you're disappointed you feel defeated and frustrated and powerless you start talking a big game and it's again it's one thing to use affirmations it's another thing to be gossiping about yourself i don't know why but i feel like there's this vibe of like gossip um the empress reverse next to the page of potions the page of cups reverse is also telling me again even further some of you guys are really you're feeling very void you're feeling the lack but speaking of the void it goes back to what I was saying, which is learning how to work with these polar opposites, these two different things. We have masculine energy, we have feminine energy, regardless of your gender roles, regardless of your gender identities. So feminine energy is very passive. It's very receptive. Masculine is very dominant and active. So you are learning that your value does not decrease or increase when you're any one of those things. 
You just are what you are. And you being who you are and you learning how to work with both of those things is going to make you a powerful manifester. It's going to make you a powerful lover. It's going to make you a powerful initiator. It's going to be make you a powerful receiver. You have to learn how to work with both of those things instead of feeling like, you know, the world is crumbling or things aren't working out when you really just haven't learned how to work out these, these you know, you know, both sides of you. Some of you guys are really comfortable with actively doing, 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 being bossy, being in control, being in charge, calling the shots. And some of you guys are very comfortable with, you know, falling back and letting other, pe other people call the shots. And, you know, spirit is saying, learn how to be both of those things. That is what's going to make you successful. That is what's going to give you your power back. That's what's going to give you your life back. If not, you're going to be this little baby baby demon, this little gremlin, doing the most. No one can invest in that. Not long term. Not like it's, um, we got to switch it up again. And spirit is literally, during this Mercury retrograde phase, it's a, it's a, it's giving you permission to get, get right again. Get the energy right. So this is what I was saying. Aging, gratitude. The cards that I'm working with will be linked down below and true love. So yeah, there is this element of emotion, I'm sorry, of relationships and emotions coming through, absolutely without a doubt. But I feel as though some of you guys, especially with this aging card, you're really fighting, as I'm looking at it, this butterfly, you know, this transformation, this next level of transformation. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like you guys are watching certain people or maybe you're in a relationship right now and you see your partner doing certain things and you're like trying to run behind them to catch up. You know what? You are a powerful being. You were whole before you met them. Um, so I feel like you're trying to, I don't know why I'm getting this energy of convincing and that's where this gossip is coming from where you're like talking, like trying to convince other people like or convince this other thing. Like you are whole. Okay, let me read this to you. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. So what does that mean? That means that no matter what you think is limiting you right now, let's just have a come to Jesus moment, you guys, right now. This is a safe space. This is sacred. It's just me and you right now. We're just sitting here. We're just talking. I'm shuffling cards for you, and I'm speaking the truth. So instead of you getting triggered and wanting to click out, just sit with me and sit with this. Is there something right now that you are uncomfortable with or that you feel as though you don't, it doesn't suffice? Something about you, something about it. Why do you, look at this, your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner, but this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. Do you see that? Gratitude. Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It is a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. So this is all these cards are telling you that you are so good right now. Something at the time of you watching this video has triggered you. And instead of you, it happens to the best of us, I've done it myself, but instead of you sitting with it and just being like, yo, I'm triggered, I'm upset, I don't like this. I feel insecure. I feel like I don't suffice. I feel like it's not, I'm not enough. I feel like it's not enough. I feel like it's not good enough. What can I do to make it better? Or pour into me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Spirit says, listen, two of cups, sit with yourself and put out there to yourself so that you can see it, so that you can heal it, so that you can address it exactly what it is that is bothering you the most and pour into that. You do it for you. A change in the wind, chop wood, a leg up. Oh my goodness, you guys. And did I not say this multiple times? Convince yourself, not others, and hubba hubba. You have forgotten, or maybe you're not for maybe you've not forgotten, but spirit is just taking the time out right now to remind you how amazing you are, how beautiful you are, how much of a gift you are, how much it's not even I just was just about to say that. Well, I give so much. I do so much. That's a part of the problem is that it's your value and your worth is not measured in your ability to be there for everyone and to show up for everyone or to be overly giving. It's good to give, but not to the point where you're depleted. This is the pile that feels a little depleted and is looking for other external things to feel, fill the void. 
and you're very you're feeling very skeptical of it you're feeling very triggered by it you don't even want to acknowledge it in fact you're spending especially with this chop wood card i just feel like as things are changing you just are like well i'm gonna keep doing this i'm gonna keep you know you have this routine of how it has worked in the past or what you've done before when that in, in itself is being uprooted so i feel as though with this leg up card, yeah, you can talk to your partner about it, but you don't, or you want, you could talk to a friend about it, but I'm really seeing you being there for you right now. And if you have the gift, the blessing, you know, to, to connect with another person right now, then, and, and share it with them, what you're, what you're working on. But I just really feel like this is about you. I feel like this is really about you. And I see you journaling it. I see you putting it out there. Just just seeing it and embracing it opens the door for it to turn into something way more than it was. But we can't switch it up if we keep it, you know, the way that it is. If we can't, if we don't allow ourselves to just see it. Um, for those of you guys that are magnetizing true love in, this is really about you completing the space of things. Yep. Six of Wands and the Fool card. It's you're really right on the brink of something massive coming in, especially with a change in the wind. So some of you guys, I feel as though you have been depleted. You've been so energetically drained that the gift, the blessing that is either right in front of you right now or just right on the horizon, if it shows up, you wouldn't even, you would spend so much time second guessing it and second guessing yourself that you you know, not that you would destroy it, but you wouldn't allow yourself, you would, it would just be so skeptical. I get this energy of skepticism and spirit is saying, listen, you know, six of wands is my PTSD card and the fool card. It's about let the past go as much as it is that you can and don't expect that to repeat. You know what I mean? Some of you guys are spending so much time busying yourself that you don't see the fact that you're really are truly upset about things from the past. So go ahead and surrender it. And give to yourself and give to the world and give to your business and give to your health and whatever it is, this new life, give to it, all of you, with the expectation for good and great. And with this ability to work with the good and the bad of, of you know, not the good and the bad, but the shadow, the light. Yep, look at this, a tower card. Do you see what I'm saying? Tower card and a change in the wind. Five of Swords, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Tower. So this is showing me right now, as clear as day, that you have this spark, this life, this energy that's coming through. Three of Cups is the card of celebration. Ace of Wands is the card of excitement, new energy, and reemergence. I'm I'm getting a lot of like, you know, not regeneration from things from the past because this feels so brand new. If this is you, you are just such a totally different person. But I feel as though with the Five of Swords. You've, you're, I'm, the word is hindered. Like you've, you're almost kind of hindering yourself by expecting, you know, others or this thing. It, it's like, it, that's so funny too. Like, right, people don't realize like how sometimes afraid they are of success. It's almost like self-sabotage that when things are occurring and things are happening, see, healing family issues, it goes way deeper. Um, when things are occurring, oh God, release your ex. When things are occurring, you guys almost want to self-sabotage. Like you almost kind of want to just throw it all, throw it all away and just, you know, just be like, well, if, if I, if it was meant to be, it would have worked out. Well, honestly, if we really sat with ourselves, you would see that reconciliation, you would see that, um, you know, it wasn't that you just keep putting up these obstacles, these barriers and saying, well, if it will surmount them or move past them, then it's for me. But reality, what is this? You're self-sabotaging. Um, so what I want you guys to do is, especially with reconciliation here, is to sit with the aspects of yourself that you feel are not whole, that are not healed, that are not complete, that are not ready, that are not lovable, that are not successful, that are not whatever it is, fill in the blank. Sit with it and give it life, give it energy, give it attention. I mean, that's the message all by itself. That's what I'm seeing for you for this Mercury retrograde phase. Some of you guys, and, and it's so clear to me, and I hate to be so blunt, but some of you guys are really spending so much time looking at these things and being like, well, that's the enemy. That's the bad thing. That's the problem. And you're pointing. 
and spirit is like, oh, me? You mean him? Like, uh, you girl. And you're just like, no, you just start gossip. Instead of you sitting with it, you start gossiping and trying to convince, literally convincing others. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's very um, self-focused. It's, and it's amazing. I feel like when you do that, it could it literally take you three weeks, two and a half weeks. Balanced friendships. Some of you guys have friends and people who are telling you, like, wait a minute, maybe... Maybe you're, maybe this is wrong. Maybe this isn't right. And you're just like, no, you're trying to convince them. And they're just like, all right, like, all right, fine, fine. Just let her, just let her think. Like, you know, maybe listen to them. Cleanse your energy. Do you see how much cleansing we have here for you? Communicate with your angels. You know what this means? This is that come Jesus moment, that two of cups, where you're sitting with yourself, sitting with your angels and having a real deep conversation with them. I hear that you've been talking to me. I just didn't want to listen. Become the true you. Do you see? This 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 group is blessed. This group is blessed beyond measure. And there will be a lot of things in your brain that sense, your human brain, that sense your own power, that sense your spiritual power, that will actually come in to disrupt and derail you from stepping into that. And you don't, sometimes you don't even realize it and acknowledge it because you yourself could be exhausted or you are, you might be afraid and that's okay. Powerful people get afraid too. Powerful people also have insecurities. Powerful people also need reassurance. Just because you're carrying it doesn't mean that it's not heavy. So, but you, I'm going to tell you right now that you are very powerful beyond your measure and beyond words. And you know, so we just got to realign. We just need to reconnect. We need to re realign. Condensation. Okay? Condensation. So that's the message for those of you guys that chose this pile. Um, be blessed. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. And if you need anything else, go ahead and visit BahadiLife.com or email me at info at And I'll be more than happy to converse with you or my assistant will. Honestly, let's be honest. All right, moving on to group. Okay, my loves. So if you chose this crystal... You are going to be called my pond. Am I getting pond vibes from this? It's like um, the river that leads into a pond. Why am I saying that? Well, I was just telling pile number one that I realized the crystals that I chose all have this very watery element to it, this water energy. And for you, I'm getting this river vibe. I'm getting this river trickling into you. It's not a very fast-paced river. It's very slow, soothing, calm, and it's moving into a pond. It's moving into a lake, which is also very soothing. So I don't know if that is where you're at in your life or that's where you are to be headed, um, but that's what's coming through you guys when I think about water and I think about emotions that's where you guys are that's the message that's coming through that's where you guys are at the tarot deck that I'm going to be working with is the nightmare before Christmas card and I will link them down below and we'll see what's happening even as I'm getting started with you guys I feel so at peace and I feel very almost to the point where it's very quiet like I almost kind of want to just put the cards away just go sit down somewhere listen to the rain read a book or maybe not even do anything it feels very slow paced it feels very relaxed it feels very at ease if you are not here yet this is where you are going to be especially during mercury retrograde some of you guys are actually taking a trip a vacation i keep getting this feeling of oh we're just gonna go with the flow it almost feels as though we're just moving forward. We're just moving forward. We're embracing the unknown. That's the vibe that's coming through right now. I don't even want to look at what has happened. Some Okay, let's look at the base. Look, Ace of Candles. So this is the Ace of Wands. And this recharge time, it's creative. It's emotional fulfilling. It's emotionally pouring into you. Not even pouring into you. It's just... Because pouring even feels like a lot. It feels as though it's just trickling into you, like a gentle rainstorm. That's the vibes that I'm getting for you guys. It's giving you guys so much 
life right now. If you do not experience, if you're, again, if you're not experiencing this, this is what spirit wants for you. Is this, you know, it's okay to be calm. It's okay to be centered. It's okay to be quiet. And I feel as though you're going to get so much from that space. All right. So we have the chariot card. This is so interesting because I feel like I mentioned this in the intro, which is you're working with these polarities. You're working with the polar opposites. Group number one, my condensation crystal, got the same type of vibe. And it was... And it makes sense also with Libra, these polar opposites that are trying to harmonize and work together. However, there's something about you that has it figured out. There's something about this group that does have it work, like is working it out. Five of presence, five of pentacles technically reversed, and also the devil card. So this shows me that this pile, this group, has really come to terms with certain aspects of their lives or certain aspects of a situation and they've accepted it instead of being um hyper focused by it or or hyper focusing on it or derailing by it they have learned you have learned to step into your power i feel as though there is this t i just heard like mount making a mountain out of a molehill you guys are you've stopped doing that or you're being encouraged to stop doing that so that you can come back into this state of space, this rest space. What does rest look like for you? It means that, um, it doesn't mean that you're you know, sleeping and quiet because there is this space of being active, but just not having to rush to the next destination, not having to you know, pick and scratch and see what's below the surface in order to see, is it all working out? You have really entered or will enter into a space of surrender and i'm also getting the vibe of you treating yourself indulging does not necessarily mean that it's going to be something that is toxic or fatty meaning that um you know it could be heavy or anything it's just you really taking time to stop to slow down to savor and this is going to help you build up even more momentum i'm getting the vibe of feeling like a queen, feeling like a goddess, feeling like a king. Okay, we have, here we have the five, six, seven of potions. So this was reversed. This is seven of cups reversed. We have the knight of presence. So that's the knight of pentacles. Do you see how satisfied he is? He's so cute. Okay, this, we also have six of needles. So six of swords. And we have the four of of presence so this is what i'm saying you guys this is exactly what is that i'm saying that there's this space that you're in right now or that you will be at the time of me you know the week that is that you're watching this now because these videos are timeless that you're just really satisfied you're i see you being self-soothing i see you feeling like oh I'll, I'll hell with it like i'm okay with the destination being unknown i'm okay with you know, not having to know the next steps. I'm okay with where we're at right now. This feels really good to my spirit. We don't even need to make it anything other than what it is right now. I just want to enjoy this, whatever that is. We have, literally, we have the world card reversed. We have the two of cups reversed, and we also have the ace of pen pentacles reversed. So these are certain things that, again, I feel as though these are, this is like, I don't want to say old intentions, but it was old things, probably near past, that you're just like, you know what, it's okay. Like, it's okay that it's not turning out the way that I thought it would be. Um, I really do trust. I really trust you. I trust me. I trust the universe. I trust my power. I trust what I'm creating. And spirit is acknowledging that. The universe acknowledges that and says, this is a really good place that you're at right now. There's this space of whether you feel it or not, there's an acknowledgement here. Look at this. Now we're going to dive in really deep. Ooh, I knew it. Look, we have the Empress card here. She has truly accepted herself, flaws and all. She says, this is who I am today. We are not wearing a bra because we don't need to be anything other than who we are. I was created whole as I am. I don't have to do anything. I feel like a queen. Didn't I, I literally said that to you guys. I'm getting queen vibes. Look, we have queen of presence, queen of pentacles. She has acknowledged, um, I just heard the reward. She does not have to reward anything. She doesn't have to re reward mediocrity. 
She doesn't reward mediocre. I'm seeing for you guys that you guys are entering into a space or you're in a space right now where you're doing things because you want to. You're not doing things because you feel like you have to. You're doing things because you want to because it gives you joy and pleasure. The Tower card and the Eight of, of Cups, this is a direct result of the things that it is that you were disrupted, that got disrupted in your life, that put you in a position where you're like, again, I'm okay with this universe. I'm working with you. And I know that you're working for me and I don't feel as though I need to prove anything to anyone. And that is going to help you to totally embrace your, your, your inner king or queen. It's going to help you level up, but you're not even thinking that. You, you really are in a space right now that you, you, sh you should be or you will be feeling totally whole. We have the sun card here. We have the seven of wands. And we also have the three of wands reversed. I had to think about what that card was in the rider weight in my head. So I feel as though you guys are stepping into a space where just like um, Jack, you are okay with battles, challenges that you that engage you in a way that makes you excited, that, that makes you thrilled, that you are willing, again, you're not doing it to prove yourself you're to anyone but to yourself. And when you're doing it for yourself, you're not doing it to you know, fill a void, you're doing it because you're feeling whole. So let's say, and what does that mean? That means that I, I'm almost getting the space of competition or challenges, but it's like playing flag football with the people from your neighborhood. You're doing it not because you are have anything to prove to anyone or prove it to yourself. You just you want to have fun. You want to have a good time. You want to link up with like-minded people and do what it is that you love that makes you laugh and challenge yourself in that way. Spirit is giving a lot of acknowledgement um, to that. I kind of want to shuffle with the romance cards, angels cards right now. Just do. Just do. Yeah, deception card just jumped out. You deserve love. Some of you guys are really entering into a space right now too where you 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 call a spade a spade and you're not even willing to engage in anything that doesn't feel authentic. Look at this. Let your friends help you wedding and codependency. So, especially with the devil card here, Oh my goodness, look at this secret card hitting here. Love yourself first. This is where you're at right now, is that you really are not trying to convince anything or anyone. Um, you know, again, you guys remind me of pile number one, but just different, just the opposite, where the deception card, it's not that it's warning you um, that something is up, although if it, that resonates, and that resonates. But I just feel as though... You guys are really prioritizing, you know, your joy and your your uh, strength, like the things like that vitalize you, that revitalize you, that give you life, that make you feel good. And you give yourself the space to indulge in that without having, without anything else being required of you, without anything else more being needed. I'm seeing you guys stepping out and doing your own way, especially with love yourself first. You deserve love. Let your friends help you. Do you see how everything is about you? right so and that what i'm also seeing with that is that you guys have not even with codependency here you guys are you know really saying to yourself like i actually am good and whole as is and I, before i had this idea that maybe there was something that i need to do there's something missing or i had to show up for others in this way and i feel like this is the week where you're kind of closing that chapter okay or you're being called to close that chapter. I want to call a spade a spade and speak honestly that if there is something in your life, especially with the Tower card and the Eight of Cups here, the Three of Wands reversed, the Seven of, of Wands upright, the Six of Swords upright, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, Two of, Pen Two of Cups reversed, the World card reversed, if there's an aspect, and the devil card and codependency, if there's an aspect of your life, something that you are being called to transition away from, be strong in your faith and in your feet. Because this first step you make is really going to empower you. 
Um, I feel as though some some could really, especially with the devil card here, I just feel as though you stepping away from things that feel very toxic to you or that are toxic to you that are it's very dense. It's almost reminding me of a very thick cake, like a very thick baked cake that normally it would taste good, but it's just so syrup. It's so sugary that you're just like, I can't even finish this. That's, it's you're being honest with yourself. Instead of eating it and finishing it all for the sake of being like, oh, well, this is expected of me. You say, I've had what I've had and I'm done when I'm done. And I'm ready to, you know, not eat things I don't want to eat. I said I was done. That's all you need to know. Like, so um, it just gives you a lot of life. It just gives you a lot of power, especially with the Queen of Pentacles. You've got in the end, the Empress sitting up right. She's doing things right now, not because she feels like she has to. There's this thing in the African-American community and culture where, and I'm sure if you are African-American, then you can relate to this. Um, and maybe others too. I can't speak for others' experience. I'm going to only speak for mine right now in this moment. But they say to parents will say to us eat everything on your plate don't you dare get up from that table and not finish everything on your plate and it's like uh mom i'm full it's like eat everything on your plate i'm full you don't hear me telling you that i'm uncomfortable that my belly has eaten everything that it can and that now if i was to eat anymore i'd be uncomfortable that is such a silly metaphor but it's the truth it says that you know I'm telling you that I'm full. I'm telling you that I've had enough and I don't need to eat anymore. I don't want to partake in this. I'm going to pick myself up and my plate. I'm good. We can have it for leftovers, but I'm not finishing it right now. That's where you guys are at right now. And do you see how it is that I'm saying this? You don't have to be like, I said I'm done. Like it's not even like this loud declaration. It's just this quiet strength that you guys are really truly in. Let's see what cards you've got going on here. I go where you go. This is so empower, empowering for this pile because this shows me, oh my goodness, and I'm reminded of the river, the river pouring into the pond, that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you know, you are, you are going to be good. No matter what happens, you're going to be good. You're going to be okay. You're going to be beyond okay. And the things, the people, the places, the career, the moments, the opportunities that are to find you, they will find you. You don't have to go looking for them. You don't have to prove it. You don't have to scream. You don't have to shout. Some of you guys have really been sitting here scratching, scratching, scratching. You know, you have this history of scratching to get beneath the surface. And what I'm seeing is that you are stepping into a space during, at this time, for the next few weeks of just being like, you know, I've seen all that I've seen and I'm okay with what it is. And I'm okay with where we're headed. I'm okay with where I'm going. I'm okay with not having to, because you had the chariot card. I'm okay with not having to overly control the shots. I'm okay with us just coasting. You know, some people have to keep adjusting the, the route on this road trip. And you guys are just like, let's just cruise. That's the vibe that is I'm getting from this pile. Prepare to be astounded. So you just cruising is going to open up. It's just a vibe. It's a vibe. You've got your music going. You've got the windows down. You know, you your your belly's full. You're not uncomfortable. You know who you are. You're standing in your truth. You can call a spade a spade. You don't have to worry about being deceived. You don't have to worry about being inauthentic. You don't have to worry about lying to anyone. You don't have to be friends with anyone you don't like. I mean, you guys are really in a state of abundance. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is the universe providing. This is the universe infinitely, the truth. You also had the card of deception. This is literally you guys saying like, I know. Like, I know. I know who I am. I know what's up. I know what's been going on. And I am not even going to fight it. I'm going to, okay. Okay. And you just keep it going. Hardship. I want to read this card to you guys. This is not predicting. Um you know, chaos or dysfunctional. You did choose the tower card, but I feel like it's there to, like, I, I'm hearing, I heard the word prayer, prepare, and I feel like it's preparation, which means that I feel like if you know that something's on the, the horizon for you that could disrupt things, it's, you already know. You're not going to be surprised. It's just going to come in and disrupt it, but I, I feel, I get this sense that if that was to happen, you guys would already know that it's going to happen. 
Um, and then you're like already, you already have your, your stuff. You're already, you're already packed up. You're already ready to go. So it's not a bad thing. It's like, we're just coasting. We're cruising through life. And instead of you guys fighting it, you're just accepting it. Love doesn't have to be near. So I'm definitely getting this vibe of you guys are on this destination. You guys are on the journey. You guys are on the road. And those things, those people, those situations, they will follow you if they're meant to be there. Um, if they're meant to come along, they will. But you are realizing the truth that it's time to move on. It's time to move forward. And you're okay with it. Higher power. Do you see there's like this higher power that's speaking to you? This inner knowingness, this knowledge, this rec recognition, this, this answer. This question that you've been trying to seek and you've been trying to scratch. It almost reminds me of a scratch-off card. Did I hit the jackpot? It's like, well, you know you're going to win. You know you're going to you know you're gonna get it. You know you're going to hit because you have everything that you've always needed within you. The key is in her head right now. That's what spirit has given you is the truth. Look, the truth, like I said it before, but it's the truth that you have everything. It's abundant. You're, you're gifted. You're a light. It's not about, again, what you're giving your energy to as much as it is what you allow yourself to receive and where you allow yourself to go. It's very empowering. Regeneration. It's this picking up where, I don't want to say where we left off, but picking off where you left off. So it feels as though... Again, it's I keep getting this like scratching energy. Like you're just you were kind of working on this one thing and scratching at it and then you kind of revisit while you're doing that, it's almost like a surprise. Prepare to be astounded, right? So you scratch off and you're like, Oh shit, I remember as a child I had this vision of, you know, I was going to be a world traveler, I was gonna go here, I was gonna do this. I was going to write this book. I was going to have this, this experience. I knew it in my spirit when I, when I was a child, when I was a teenager, when I was a young adult or whenever. And it's like, oh my God, look, it's here again. So that's what I'm seeing is regenerating here is these old, you know, uh, passions, these old things that, you know, you thought you forgot about. So it's a return back to that. Look, peace and deep knowing. Do you see what I'm saying? This group is so tranquil. It's so lifted. I'm telling you, there's a lot of peace. There's a lot, like, it's all very still. It's all very quiet. And it doesn't have to be loud in order to make a massive, major difference. I know that we did the Romance Angels for you guys already, but I feel called to do it again. See? Retreat. That's a message all by itself. Something about this bow um, on her wedding dress reminds me, look, depend, dependency um, or codependency and deception. Something about this bow reminds me of things from the past that were put on hold. It's like she, this wedding dress was saved for a special occasion. That was her mother's wedding dress or grandmother's or whatever. And it's just like tiny adjustments. So I feel as though you guys are really, um, you know, breaking away from, yeah, past life, relationship, and this could be the one. You guys are breaking free from um, what you were once scratching on when you were once looking at it. And it's, it's definitely with the deception card. It's bringing me back to the scratch off. The scratch off. I don't really like doing those things because I don't like gambling ever. I'm a saver, not a spender, and I don't like gambling. I work really hard for my money, and um, I, you know, blah, I don't like to just throw it away like that. It does. That's just not me. That's not me. But some of you guys like to gamble. But anyways, the point is, with the scratch off card, you look at it and it'll be like a, a, a sheet of paper, but it's deceiving because. It's not just this silver foil that's on there. You have to use a penny or use your nail or use your key to scratch it off to see that there's a, a winning card underneath it, that it's a winning card. But initially by looking at it, you wouldn't be able to see that. You wouldn't know that it's a winner. You wouldn't know. It's deceptive. That's what it's like. Some of you guys were once concerned with what it originally looked like. Now you're like, I'm okay with it being what it is. And with that, it reemerges. It regenerates. It comes to life in a new form. And you are actually in a better place, a better position than you were to receive the jackpot, to receive the blessing, to receive this shift. 
than you were in the beginning. And this literally will be the thing. This literally will be the one. Um, so I'm just, I just heard the word uh, expectancy. Some of you guys are expecting certain things. It's different now. We're always evolving. Like it's different. I feel like someone needs to hear that. It's different. You have this expectation. I don't know why, but I feel like some of you guys, I'm like getting a vision of like a motel or something where it's like, it's temporary. And you're like, well, this is gonna be my home forever. No, it's not, it's a motel. You're on a journey, you're on the road. And you being on the road and you being on a journey and embracing this moment right now is going to help you, it's gonna remind you that life is meant to be lived. And you guys need to remember, if you haven't already, that you're going, you're here to live it. You're here to live it and you're going to enjoy it. Okay, what do we have here? First step, open your heart, time to decide, trust, world energy, balance, work, rest, and play. So I just feel as though this is totally like you guys disconnecting um retreating so much it's very vacation vibes it's very like road trippy vibes where you decide and that was a star card that just jumped out by the way it's definitely you're there you you're you this pile is about going with the flow going with the journey and spirit encouraging you through that and being like well yeah it's time you know life is meant to be lived and you're living it girl you're doing it with the devil card here too as well some of you guys have really been stuck in this old way of life and you're just been like, well, this is okay. And spirit says, no, you know, I would really like to see you get out. I would really like to see you go on an adventure. I'd really like to see you try. I'd really like to see you take that risk and see what happens. It's deceptive for you to stay in the space and be like, well, this is it is what it is. No, it's not. There's a whole world out there. You literally have the card of abundance. Some of you guys are afraid that it's going to be hard. You guys are afraid that it's, you know, like, why am I going to do it? Just going to do it for the sake of doing it? Yes. Yes. Your life is meant to be lived to the fullest, and that's where it is that you're at right now. One last card. This pile really um, just needs to hear. I might actually, I feel like I'm going to work with a zombie tarot for you. What's ahead? What's, what's, what's for this pile? Especially with time to decide. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. That is so funny. Look, you guys have repeating cards. So first card that jumped out is the nine of Knight of Pentacles. And do you see how he's in this car? He's like, well, what if I crash my car? You're not going to. You're fine. And if you do, someone's going to come and pick you up. Everything will be fine. Everything will be taken care of. It's deceptive to just be like, oh, no, I'm safe. You're not safe by staying in the status quo, honey. Get out there. Enjoy the world. Three of Wands is literally you being like, you know what? I'm going to get out there. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, like, look at them. They're, like, busting down the door of this party. Like, that's you guys. You guys are living your life to the fullest. And then we have the Empress card. That's what's ahead of you. Adventure, enthusiasm, excitement, the opportunity to collaborate, the opportunity for new things to come in. All you got to do is take the first step. All you got to do is trust. Those are your two cards that came out. All right, my loves, I hope this reading makes sense to you. I hope that you're good. I hope that you are reminded and that you're aware that you are a king or a queen, that you deserve only the best. I hope you are aware and that you're reminded and that you believe that this universe is abundant. It is abundantly filled. It is so much filled with all these opportunities to experience new things, to love new things, to get excited about life, to laugh, to cry. Just be human and embrace it all. It's a, mo it's a movement. It's a vibe. All right? So um, if you would like, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you aren't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I will see you guys in my next one. Moving on to pile number three. For those of you guys that chose my stormy crystal, this message is for you. As I was telling pile number one and two, I realized that the crystals that I chose for this week are very water vibe type energies and yours is included in that. And the way that your crystal energy is coming through and the way this pile feels right now is bringing me to the moments where I've seen storms on the horizon coming in while I'm sitting on the beach. And you're just like, 
hmm, should we go? <laughs> that's kind of the vibe that's coming through for this pile right now. When I think of the storm, when I'm looking at this crystal, I don't feel as though this is something that is dangerous or bad or a warning of some sort. I'm actually seeing a lot of excitement and I'm seeing someone like if these were their feet, they're like like dancing on the edge of the, <laughs> the edge of the beach, just so excited for the storm to come through. Like here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Like where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? And I'm getting the sense of, you know, it's it's really cool that you're excited right now. Like there's no warning connected to that. It's just good that you're excited. Um, if that's not where you're at right now, that's where I feel like you're headed, is in this space of overall enthusiasm, general excitement, and a lust for life as we know it. That's just me looking at the crystals. That's what's coming through. I'm feeling as though you guys have been seeing certain signs before before the storm rolled in. So you might have heard rumors, you might have seen it on the news, but so you know, you go down to the ocean, you go down to the beach in anticipation of what is coming and you start looking for signs and you start to see that there is some matter from the ocean that's been kicked up from the storm that's just on the horizon. And you're you're like, this is a sign, this is a sign, this it's definitely happening. And spirit's like, yep, it really is. It almost reminds me of a child who's so excited for Christmas day, Christmas morning, and I don't know why I'm just feeling also too like someone's like, did I do something wrong? Like, nope, video cut out. But as I was saying is that there's this vibe of like, did I do something wrong? Like, when is it coming? When is it coming? When is it gonna happen? And it's just like, it will happen. It's on its way. Just be patient. That's the vibe that I'm getting as I'm shuffling your cards and as I'm looking at the crystals. So you guys are definitely seeing the signs that something is picking up, something is on the horizon. But you're just like, when, when, when? Even as I'm looking at this, look at this. It's the hermit card and he's peeking his head out. Like, is he here yet? It's like, yes, he's coming. Just be patient. Did you say yes? Like, be patient. I'm sorry, he's coming. So three of pentacles. You guys know that there's something in the works. You guys know that there's something happening, that there's something coming in, even as I'm saying this. He's carting this cart full of presents. So three of presents within the Nightmare Before Christmas card is the three of pentacles in the Rider weight. We also have the six of candles. So it feels like, but it was also reversed. This feels like, okay, is there a delay? It's coming. Just because you haven't seen it yet doesn't mean that it's not right around the corner you're seeing the signs already so this this pile i feel is big confirmation look strength card <laughs> this pile is big confirmation that you guys know that something is on the brink something is on the horizon just just right out there and there's this acknowledgement of enthusiasm there's this even as i'm looking at this he's that that axe sticking out of his head was a sign so he's just walking around you're just walking around you know knowing that something is there <laughs> you feel it you know you may not be able to see it all the time but you know it's there so it's all about you know being patient look at this we have the hierophant and we have the ace of wands so right away i have to say that i keep seeing the ace of wands showing up and the Hierophant is, look at him, he has this microphone because he's the messenger. He announces. Typically, that's not what's happening within the Hierophant card, um, within the re regular Rider weight. although the Hierophant is the articulator of the text. It's the, 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 the what has been written, what has been set in stone, they enforce that. They keep that routine going. So... This is just saying, I just feel as though there's a space of, you know, announcement, now's the time, now's the time, now she's ready, now they're ready. But I've been noticing the Ace of Wands showing up, I believe in every single card pool, and I feel like at the time of me filming this, again, this reading is timeless, but at the time of me filming this, Mercury is retrograde. So I feel as though something is picking up. Something is picking up really, really quickly during this phase time and I feel what I don't want is I don't want the you know some people I feel like this is going to be more of the other piles not this pile but I feel like some of the other piles are going to be triggered by what is it they see this pile is like well I've been you know on the treadmill for a minute so I've been waiting for this and now that it's in set in motion I've I've been ready I'm, I'm ready to go so yeah um okay four of 
Four of Wands is here. So again, celeb celebrating the space of being at home, the space of feeling like you're at home, being at the right place at the right time. Look at this. We have the King of Swords here, King of Needles here. Just I, Again, he senses, he knows something's up. He knows something's up. It's not only the facts. It's not only the evidence. It's an intuitive hunch that that you're picking up on something's happening it definitely feels like christmas morning it feels like christmas that's the vibe that is i'm getting for you guys look judgment card came through and then also we have eight of pentacles so this is something is absolutely truly in the works the judgment card was reversed i feel as though it's uh, this is some of you guys are going to get frustrated with me when i say this but i feel like some of you guys it's going to come earlier than you were expecting it almost reminds or very late it reminds me of um, ordering a package from a, a store, a shop that is that you really love and respect. It's kind of similar to Bahati Life, <laughs> the apothecary. I'm just kidding. Shameless shout out. But um, and you 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 have this expectation. It's going to take two to three months to ship because it'd be like that for small businesses. Trust me, I know. But um, you know, you know, it's going to take forever to ship, and somehow the the moment that that you say that the very next day it ships out and you're like holy crap i didn't know it was going to come that soon i was expecting all this and then you just break you go running back to the ocean you go running down to the mailbox and you're like here it comes it's on its way um and there's then there's these moments where you're like oh there's a delay and then so there's this like up and down energy that i'm getting with you guys some of the rest of the pile you're like oh my goodness it's just taking so long like when's it gonna get here it's on its way just trust before you make any rash decision that's what i'm getting from the judgment card reversed is that everyone is different because these are general readings but for the most part it is coming in look eight of pentacles it's it's already there's already a system in place you this pile is very easy to read very easy and it's very it's very look you're being watched by loving eyes legit that's some of you guys keep checking those shipping notifications but it's not not only that it's what you're manifesting it's what what's materializing you're really watching it so spirit is saying you know go to bed i don't know why i keep going back to christmas morning um but go to bed and like let it go you don't have to keep checking in and prying in you don't have to keep check is it still is it still yes disappear for a minute stop checking on it give it space it will show up it's just kind of you know doing what it's doing and it will show up literally it's actually coming in so Look, I heart you. Some of you guys are about to hear these words that you have been waiting a, a minute to to listen to or hear. Some of you guys need the confirmation that what is coming in is choosing you and that it's making a beeline for you. And the answer is, it sure is. Co-create. Didn't I just say home, the sense of home with the four of wands here? Um, yeah, no place like home. What is for you will not pass you. You can't replicate a feeling that is one of a kind that is so unique. Of course, it's going to seek you. Of course, you're going to be sought after. Of course, you're, it's going to be undivided, undivided attention. You know, just full, it's just 100% yours. You don't have to share it with the rest of the, the world. It's yours. You have co-created with the universe and it has manifested. It has materialized. Look, message in the bottle. I'm done. You know, it's on its way. You don't need to doubt it. Look, relationship and, oh my goodness. Look, impatience and relationship. This is my first time seeing the cards. I'm not surprised. The only reason why I'm not more hype is because my coffee is A, wearing off, and B, because my voice, I've been filming, I feel like, all day, and I just had one of the, a good weekend with one of my buddies, so. All right, let's see what we have here. Yeah, impatience. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. And in this case, it's home. Look, shield yourself. And then we have wise soul. So this brings me to the strength card. You know and you sense that something is on the way. What I don't want you guys to do is jump ship. Jump ship. In order to swim you will get there faster even though you wish the boat would go faster you will get there faster and safer if you just continue and carry on the course follow your intuition and listen to your 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 judgment <clears throat> cleanse your energy and spiritual teacher so some of you guys are actually truly getting called right now and guided to make preparations if you're that antsy 
If you're that impatient, then go ahead and take the time out now to cleanse the space and cleanse yourself to prepare for what is coming in because it is coming in. Let's see what's going on with the romance. Angels deck. What is it? Ooh, look, you guys have been calling in your soulmate, especially with the spiritual teacher card here. You've really been doing soulmate. I, I'm going to head out. I literally, I did my job today. Did I not just do my job? I just did my job. Come on. I'm done. Maybe we could do another one. Just pull another one. You're impatient again, but all right. Hmm. Honeymoon, love yourself first. But you guys have been calling in your soulmate and boom, they're here. You guys know it. You sense it. The universe has, especially with your spiritual teacher, cleanse your energy, wise soul, shield yourself, you're being watched by loving eyes, I heart you, co-create, no place like home, four of wands, eight of pentacles, judgment card reversed, the higher font, ace of wands. There's so many, look, the king of, king of swords. There's so many cards here that are showing me and detailing in specifics that the universe is so secretive with how it moves. It's so secretive with how it moves. I teach this in my Sacred Circle Tarot School where the the meaning of the tarot, it goes so much deeper than just this Google search of these um, symbolisms. It's You have to look at the numerology. You have to look at the esoteric symbolism. You have to look at, read between the lines. It moves in secrets. It's hidden in plain sight. It's in front of your face, but you got to see it. You got to know what to look for in order for you to be able to see it. That's what I teach within the Sacred Circle Tarot School, and that's what I'm seeing within your cards, is that you can sense certain things, but you just can't quite put your fucking finger on it because your brain... It, and your logical mind is wired sometimes and trained to see things from a certain perspective. And sometimes we get tricked, we trick ourselves in our head to, you know, trust that when literally it's an ax in the top of our head. You know what I mean? Like it's literally right there, but we, we are so trained in our brain to use our logical minds to find these facts to support what we intuitively know is occurring and happening. Read between the lines. Spiritual teacher, why souls? Shield yourself. You're being watched by loving eyes. Call in your soulmate, soulmate, hierophant, four of wands, eight of pentacles, no place like home. Again, all these cards that I'm seeing, they are showing you and telling you the hermit card. There's an internal truth. There's an internal knowledge. There's an internal awareness that something is occurring. And you guys are trying to, you know, see it and figure it out. And you're becoming impatient. But if you really connected with yourself and if you were wired in and if you were tuned in, you would understand how how the universe works, that it doesn't it's not always, you know, um, a, a something that is factual, that is so, so scientific, that's so, you know, it. But if you switch your mind up to see certain things, cause remember how I was saying before, you're seeing certain signs of it coming through the if you wire your mind into into tapping into that you wouldn't be walking around with this ax in your head being like, hmm, is there, like, what is it? Like, you would know, you would trust, you would never doubt it. So that's what is I'm seeing for you guys. You know, something is really, truly on the horizon. Instead of you being agi agitated by it and irritated by it, realize that it is coming in. Realize that you are co-creating with the universe. Realize that you know, it's these undercurrent levels of energy. So cleanse your energy in the meantime. Literally, you have cleanse the energy card here. Cleanse your energy in the meantime. Switch up your focus a little bit. Try to keep yourself busy because what you want and what you've called in is just literally right, right on the brink. Um, I could leave you with that. I have done enough. But let's just go ahead and see really quickly what the zombie tarot has for you. Yep. Not even surprised. Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles. It's right here. It could just take a little minute. King of Cups reversed though. Some of you guys have been subconsciously second guessing yourself. This is you. Hmm. 
Where is Sally? You know she's planting up to, up to no good. She's trying to escape the tower. If you didn't watch Nightmare Before Christmas, you guys gotta watch it. What is you doing? You know that she's up to no good. You know that she has a potion. You know she's trying to poison your ass. But you just can't quite put your fingers on it. Like, your intuition is telling you. And you're being like, are you sure? Like, yes, you're about to get poisoned. That's not a warning. <laughs> That's just, if you have to watch, you have to watch. Those who watch Nightmare Before Christmas know what it is that I'm talking about. But the point of the story is, and what I'm trying to say, is that you guys know that something is on the horizon. Something good, something major, something big, something that you've been waiting for, that you've been calling in, that you've been co-creating. And now that it's here, instead of second-guessing it and wondering, is it really happening, Jess? The answer is yes. It is. Everything is all working out in divine order. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the World card. It's all coming together. Don't you worry, boo-boo. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and head out. I have to go live tonight at 7 p.m. for the Secret Circle Tarot School. I am wishing you all the best. I send you all my love. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.